We are building the calculator project from the YByte Python curriculum available at www.ybyte.in. Previously, we looked at the learning goals from this activity. Now, in this video, we are going to get started building this. Now, the first thing to notice is that, yes, we are building this in tkinter. Notice that we are going to use the label and the button widgets, but also notice that these widgets are arranged in a very, very neat and orderly fashion. Now, the way we are going to do this is by using what is called the grid geometry manager in, uh, you know, in tkinter. Uh, obviously, the best way to learn this is by doing, but before we get on to that, in this video, we'll take a high level overview of what this grid manager means and see how it applies to our calculator. The idea in the grid layout manager or the grid geometry manager really is that we are going to divide the entire window into cells and we are going to access this by their access the cells by their row index and the column index. So, for example, here. I have divided the window into say four rows and three columns. That's why one, two, three, four rows and three columns. And I access these by, let's say, for example, zero, zero. So row index zero, column index zero to say, for example, this is two, two. So second row, second column, again, starting from zero and so on and so forth. Now, the interesting bits is that these are called cells. And in each of these, we are going to place one widget. And now you can clearly see that if we have this grid defined, then we can create a very, very orderly arrangement of cells. Now, previously, we have seen the pack method and the place method. Pack is kind of like the best effort. Put it wherever you get space. Place is like by placing widgets in a precise X and Y location. Now, this is a little bit different. This is by placing this on this grid, uh, not the absolute X and Y coordinate. Now, like I said, again, this is best understood by doing. Now, one uh, point I want to make that grid and pack together cannot be used in one window. Um, unless we use what is called frames, right? So, but we will not get into that right now. Um, we will just use the grid method in this. Now, the interesting bit about this grid method is that we can, in fact, merge cells by controlling the row span and, say, the column span. So, for example, look at this. Here, I've got four rows, uh, three columns. But what I've done is that on the cell, which is one, one, which would have been, let's say, this small cell over here, I'm in fact merging this with one, two and leaving with just one big cell of column span two. Now, why is the column span two here? Well, because the width of the cell spans two columns. Likewise, I can create a row span two, in which case I get, let's say, two rows as the height of this cell. Now, again, this is best understood by doing, which is what we are going to do in our calculator project. But let's just briefly see how this applies to our calculator. Well, remember, our calculator has this expression label, has this entry label, has a bunch of budget, uh, has, a, has a bunch of buttons. Uh, in fact, you can see that this is a grid of six rows and five columns. Why six rows? Because one, two, and then four rows of buttons. Now, notice the width of these, or say the height of these, is not exactly the same. Five columns, as I have five buttons over here. Again. Here I'm using, I'm playing with row span and column span. So for example, the expression label has a column span of five. That's why it expands the, you know, it spans the whole, um, let's say, width of the calculator. Um, likewise for the entry label, for these buttons, for example, the C button, the equal to button, the zero button. For the C and equal to, I have a row span of two. For zero, I have a column span of two. So, you know, uh, that's why you get this, get the, uh, this pretty nice looking, uh, you know, let's say interface created. Again, this is best done by doing. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to get started building this in tkinter. I'm going to get started building this in tkinter. I'm just going to call it, let's say calculator, you know, letter, say demo. I'm going to create the ripple. Now, once I get my code, you know, ready, I'm going to rename this to be called a cal, you know, calculator. I'm going to let the geometry be as it is. And I'm going to make the window, let's say, a fixed size by setting the resizable options to say 0, 0. So window becomes fixed size and I don't need these buttons. I'm going to just comment these out. Now, when I run this code, I get my base window set up. Now, notice this is a 300 by 300 window. It's not resizable. And that's all I have right now because we are going to move further with this in the coming videos. Uh, I hope you found this process interesting. In general, if you think this way of learning works for you, look at our website because we have a lot of such activities through which you can learn programming in a fun way. Take care. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.